Hey guys, it's Strack, and I have another sweet vintage blaster from Bobo's collection. I have done a review on this before. This is part of the Cyber Strike Defender T3, and I have never had the pleasure of having a full one before. And this is just very, very cool. It's got a belt clip here. This is space for an extra arrow attachment, and these are big bad bow arrows, which have a slightly larger diameter, I think, but we can still kind of fit it in there. And that goes on to the top portion. Now it's two blasters in one which is just really really neat you will notice that when I break it apart you do that by pushing forward here through this lock and then pulling down and you can see that this still has its attachment which I believe is detachable but I'm not gonna do that to Bobo's and inside it chambers old-school mega darts and then the top chambers these arrows so it's kind of like a crossbow in that it fires two types of ammo off of a singular triggered unit but you can see here that this trigger pull depresses the top which engages this which has its own catch and release mechanism built into it oh no we lost a dart that's all right so i'm actually going to put it together and fire it for you it's just a really neat vintage system again it's the cyber strike defender t3 it's got this kind of weird metallic -y sway kind of pattern in its ABS plastic, but it's just a cool shell. Not a lot of orange on it, but that's okay. Back when this was around, that wasn't a huge deal. So priming and firing through the bottom blaster <laughs> is pathetic, about seven feet. The top blaster is having a little bit of difficulty catching. I'm going to go grab that. That was a great shot. It probably would have gone much further but it looks like the plunger system in this one is a little wonky so i'm going to try and prime it first there we go and it's delicate but we've got it there and we'll fire this time with the trigger not by accident and that's big bad bow style performance that's just great i'm going to go ahead and remove this now that you've seen how that works see if we can't get a better shot with the pistol itself and we're not, but the pistol has excellent performance once you rebarrel it. I know that's hard to believe, but this one's got a little bit of a loose fit right now in its plunger tube. And if you look at my original mod guide and review for this blaster, the bottom part of the blaster, which you can check out here, you can see that this can get some pretty insane performance. So that is my review of the Nerf Cyber Strike Defender T3. I've never been quite sure what this handle up here is for. Maybe you're supposed to take it apart all right and that is it as always guys thanks for watching i appreciate your viewership